Hey gang, Nanny Crypto coming to you today with another Trading View tutorial. Um, we've been looking at some input from the community and found a way to help out all those people who are running the free version of Trading View. So I thought I'd jump on today and give you a quick tutorial on how to set up the basic screen in Trading View. This is kind of complementary to the boss video of how to chat like the boss. Shout out to Brandon Kelly and all his help in the community. Uh, but this video will help you set up the averages and also will show you how to include all those averages in just one um, in just one so we have one indicator as the free version only allows three indicators so hopefully this will help you out like I said it's complementary to um, the both chart method and I will add his link into my description so there's three videos you can currently watch um, one is obviously the boss chart method the other one is my trading view tutorial um, from I think it's last week where I gave you all the ins and outs and all the buttons and this is basically kind of taking it a step back again for all those people who are coming into the chart for the first time and not really knowing how to set up trading view and get those moving averages which is what really helps us to decide when we're going to buy or sell a coin. Um, just before we jump into the chart, um, Bitcoin price at the moment is 6,644. Uh, it's actually had a dip after the Segwit 2x was cancelled. Um, most people believe it will continue to dip, could reach anywhere between 5,500 and 5,800. Um, some believe it will only dip to 6,000. So right now, um, just a quick tip, and that is please be careful with whatever trading you do as these significant dips in Bitcoin can cause our alts to go down as well. So without further delay, we're just going to jump over to our screen. Now, I didn't do everything, but I've tried to create as, as I guess, as close an example of when you create your trading view account. In here, so you would, at this stage, you've created your account, it's your free account, and you are going to click onto the chart tab or the chart button, which will create a brand new chart for you. So we're just going to wait until that loads. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Um, now there's a lot of things that we're not interested in viewing, so we're going to get rid of that. If you just grab this arrow, so as you can see there's a little arrow that changes to a two-sided arrow, two-sided head arrow, we're just going to move all that all the way there. This is just a floating, um, you can leave or um, you can leave that all or just get rid of it. Um, I prefer not to have these, so I hide it. Um, the other thing is I like to run my charts on black. Um, so if you go over here into the chart properties, just this button right here, we are going to change that to dark, which is much easier on the eyes. To also make this very easy to view, we're going to get rid of the volume. Now, this is a volume, um, it's just an indicator on the charts. I use it, but as we are going to do a very basic setup, we're going to get rid of the volume. These messages will show up as you're running the free account, so we're going to get rid of that and also hide this. These are just different setup on the chart. So we're going to get rid of all of these. Show not we don't want to see dividends, we don't want to see splits, and we don't want to see earnings. So we're going to get rid of all of that. Now we are going to jump into so here when you search for your coin, make sure you have it set to cryptocurrency. And we are going to do Bitcoin to the USD on Polynex. Okay, now here are a few other things um, I get rid of. So those are basically things we don't really need. Okay, so 
how do we add the moving averages? So if you've watched uh, the BOSS chart method, you'll know that each one of those is an indicator. So we're quickly going to jump into the indicators. And we're going to type in here moving average. So I'm going to click on that. Now, what you'll actually find is that when you're running the free chart, it will only let you run up to three indicators. Okay? So I'm going to say no thanks, and I'm just going to leave those three. Now, if you had watched the chart, you'll know that each one of these is, so this is the seven, which is a green line. I like to write them on a second scale. Then we have the, so depending on which video you've watched the boss, you'll know that he either runs a seven, the seven, the 21, the 77, and the 231, or the seven, the 77, and the 231. Um, the red is sometimes one that we need to know, turn on. So for now, we're not going to do that one. We're going to do the 77. Sorry, we need to change the inputs. So we're changing the length on each one. So this is the 77. And then we change the color and we change it to orange. And we change it to a bit thicker. And then the third one we're going to run is the 231. 231 day average, we are going to set that to white and we're going to, okay. So basically this gives me the moving average for every um, seven days, 77 days and 231 days. Now, if you've seen in a few of the videos, as I mentioned, there is an average, there is an average, um, which is the 21 average which sometimes is actually quite good to turn on. However, if you're running the free account, it will not let you add more than three averages. So here is the tip and the trick of the day. Right down here, you are going to find something called the Open Pine Screen Editor. We're going to quickly jump into that. And it's basically going to give you a script. Now, don't worry. I will add this script into the description, and that way all you need to do is basically copy and paste it. Now, this is the script. Now, I am not going to try and explain the script to each and every one of you. Um, this is coding, and some people might not know anything about coding. So... What I'm going to do is, so this is running the four averages. So if I use, um, I'm just going to turn these off. So you can turn them off just by clicking on the first button, which is the I. And then I click on save. So we're going to call these BK's moving averages. And we're going to click on save. Now, what I then want to do is I want to add that indicator into my chart. So we call it B. Oh, actually, if you go into my scripts, it should be right there. Now, this is the problem you're going to find. It's actually going to say, no, you can't add more than three. So we are going to delete one of these moving averages. Let's just say the 231. We're going to try that again in, under my scripts, which is where we've saved it. And here we go. Here are the three lines, that, sorry, the four lines that these moving averages have. So that's basically, and the reason this is really good is um, let's just say I don't want to have, so that way you've got, four different moving averages. So we've got the 7, the 20, so the 7 is the green, the 21 is the red, the 77 is the orange, and the 231 is the white. Okay, and we've done this by adding it in here. Into the Pine Editor, we've added the script, and we've saved it. Okay, 
So there may be people who only want to run the three lines. Um, as you get, as you become a more experienced trader, and as you get better at reading these charts, you might find that the red line isn't really required. And I use the red line, I guess, less and less these days. But the problem is with the way you're running it, you can only turn them all on or turn them all off. So what I will do in the description, I will add two scripts and I'll try and separate them with a line. The one script will be for anybody who wants to have all four average or four moving averages turned on and the other script will be for those people who only want to add three. Now the best thing about this is because we don't have any of the other ones then I can add let's just say if I as again as you get more experience and let's just say you wanted to add the RSI then I can add a whole bunch of different indicators and it won't give me any problem at all. I'm going to try, you can actually make this one, there we go, just make that one go down a little bit. So the idea is allowing you, now obviously you can make this go down, you don't need to have that up and running. And there you have your RSI, um, which some may or may not use. Um, you can turn your volume back on if you wanted to have your volume at the same time. And you also have all these lines, which is basically what we're using for the boss method. Okay, gang, just really wanted to run that quick video. Um, I hope it makes sense. I know it can be a bit daunting. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. If you enjoyed the content and you found it useful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share to anybody who you think this might be useful to, and I look forward to finding some more interesting content for you and helping you each day to help you grow those Bitcoins so that someday we can leave our jobs and do this for a living and not have to go into a cubicle day by day and work in a little office. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Till next time.